So we all know that trees are used to make paper. Now before the tree can be used to make paper, we have to break it down into wood chips. Massive, massive piles of wood chips. Now I did some research and here's what you need to know about the wood chip. It's made up of pretty much three main elements, water, cellulose fiber, which is what we really make paper out of, and this stuff called lignin, which is like a natural glue that has to be separated from the cellulose fiber. Here is where the steam comes in. We're gonna put everything into a big, basically a large pressure cooker called a digester. In go the wood chips, in go some water, and in go this cooking liquid called white liquor. Lid goes on it and high pressure steam around 340 or 350 degrees is gonna be placed in the vessel depending on who's doing the cooking. Now, that high pressure steam and temperature is gonna force that white liquor into the wood chips and the lignin is gonna be separated from the cellulose fiber. So you're left with really two things. You're left with this pulpy, almost cooked oatmeal kind of substance, which is wood pulp, and then a, uh, a dark substance, which is the separated lignin and water, and it's called black liquor. From there, the wood pulp heads on to the next step of the process towards making paper. Now, black liquor can be burned in a boiler. So we're gonna talk about how that happens and where the steam comes into play. Now, the black liquor is only about 18% solid, so it's basically boiled using steam heat to reduce it to make it about 68% solid. And then it goes to a recovery boiler. Now the recovery boiler burns it, creates steam for lots of different uses. Uh, steam to power the paper making process in the mill, turns a couple of steam turbines to create electricity for the mill, and if they have excess electricity, they sell it to the national power grid. So there's three great steam uses right there. Now when you're done burning this black liquor, it creates a residue called green liquor. They add lime to the green liquor and it turns back into white liquor. So if you just did the math, we just created a full loop there. White liquor, green liquor, pardon me, black liquor, green liquor, and then white liquor. There's so much going on, I can't keep it straight. What I can keep straight is, is that is a fully renewable resource, which is a very cool thing. Great for our environment, great for energy usage. We're gonna chase down the paper trail, if you're following me. We're gonna take the wood pulp, we're gonna see how steam is used to make paper, the finished product. Hey guys, here we have paper products that we use. Before they are paper, they're in this wet substance and it's wood pulp and it's got water and it's gotta get out. We're gonna use steam to do it. Well, like I said, this is wood pulp and it's basically cellulose fiber suspended in water. And we have to get rid of this water if we're gonna make paper. Now we're gonna do that in the paper machine and these things are huge. They're the size of two lane highways. The paper is gonna move through it at like highway speeds, and we're gonna go from a wet pulp to finished roll of paper in a matter of seconds. So let's talk about how that happens. This wet pulpy mess is gonna be sprayed onto a very fine screen, and it's gonna go on about 99% moisture content. Now, through gravity and suction, we're gonna pull out some moisture, and we're gonna be about 80% wet. Then we're gonna enter the press section. Now that sheet, which is now starting to interlock and become a real sheet of paper as the water comes off, it's gonna be gently laid onto something called a felt. The felt is gonna transport it through a series of rolls that are gonna press the water out onto the felt, which is gonna take the water away as we deliver the sheet, now at about 50% moisture content to the drier section, which is where the steam comes into play. Now there's these large steel cylinders that are injected with high pressure steam, making them extremely hot. That sheet's gonna pass over and it's gonna dry rapidly. And in a matter of seconds, it's gonna go from 50% moisture content to 5% moisture content, which now we have a durable sheet of paper that can be processed for whatever they're gonna use it for. These rolls, by the way, I'm gonna show you some images here, are enormous and pretty cool to see. They weigh 30 to 35 tons and have 60 to 65 kilometers worth of paper on there. Pretty impressive stuff. So we've closed the loop. We've taken wood chips, we've made wood pulp, we've burned black liquor to make steam, and we've used that steam to turn this wood pulp into paper. So I hope you've enjoyed that whole process.